EHS was a great model for me, and I think he still remains a great model for um, African American students today. Um, there were many things about his life that I found to be very compelling and really um, helped me in my own development. For example, um, he just, um, you know, he worked extremely hard. He was very um, innovative as a scientist. But one of the things that he often had difficulty with was forming a network with white colleagues in this country. And so what he did was to actually go to Europe. He actually had to collaborate with international scientists. And this was something that I did in my own career as well. I think for students today, there are still messages to, you know, that one can take away from how Just was able to overcome some of the difficulties that he had to face as a, a black scientist. There are lots of things that I think we really need to do now to um, enhance the um, participation of underrepresented minorities in the STEM disciplines. Um, when we think about students, underrepresented minority students, many of those students come in with an interest in science. And so the real question is persistence. It's not general interest. It's how do we keep them interested. And so there are many things that I think we can do. One is the curriculum. We've got to improve the way we deliver content to students. You know, the lecture format is a very efficient way. It has its qualities. But we have technology now that allows us to move away from sort of the static presentation and to create a more active way to engage students in science. We tend to always delay the exciting part of science until they're in the upper division courses. And they do have to do a lot of, you know, sort of memorizing, learning the basics before they can really think about the great things that are happening, the modern science. So we should be able to get students right into the current experimental aspects of science. And I think this will captivate them and really help them to see what is possible.